I literally could not stop coming. Doctors hated me. I am a doctor. I hated myself. Guys who actually bought the you won't last five minutes playing this game game from the ads from porn, what was it? What happened? Was it a scam? It sent me to runescape.com where I made an account and started playing. I clicked it one day because I was just bored to see what it was. It was literally Star Trek Online. Can't stop coming and won't stop coming and they don't stop coming and that keep on coming. Fed to the rules and I hit the ground coming. Years of experience allow me to not last 5 minutes on my own with just about any porn so the bar is kinda low. Exactly. The right 130 preview is all I need. Just skip forward to 050 so you don't miss the ending. It's been 3 weeks. I can't stop coming. My house is flooding. My wife took the kids. Someone save me from this 10th circle of hell. Who needs to buy it? The ad is all I need. Fastest hand in the west. So that means the ad in the games is Red Dead Redemption. Serious answer, I accidentally clicked one once trying to close all the ads on the page, it deadass opened a Roblox sign-up page. Still very confused by that strategy. Edit, to make it worse, not even on a porn site. Anime gets the same ads. EDIT2, now everyone knows I like anime titties, oops. Click-throughs are click-throughs. I never said I was going to show an ad for your product. Honestly I'm starting to think this an actual tactic. Some kids game hires an advertising company to make ads for them and put them on YouTube and other sites. However, in an effort to boost clicks, the ad company makes a fake ad for a porn site to lure horny people in, thus making it look like they're doing a better job and the game gets clicks all while the product isn't actually connected to a porn site since all the ads are for fake porn games. I have no clue how ads are made, work but this is just something I thought of since this seems like a common theme. It's pretty common in affiliate marketing. Your Roblox, you come to an affiliate network, sign your offer up, and pay affiliates $1 per confirmed install. You can write whatever promotional restrictions you want, there will still be affiliates breaking them and you can only catch them after the fact. I got curious with the same question one day, so I input fake credit card info from that fake name generator website into a few of those sites. From what I can tell, this is what they do. Steal pornographic content from artists and sites to use on the scam site and for ridiculous eye-catching ads. Lead site visitors with false promises and ask for credit card info. If credit card info is obtained, usually an error screen will pop up saying something to the extent of Sorry we're scheduled for maintenance or our site is having problems. Please check back later, which is just to cover up the fact that there is no site and it's all a front to trick you into giving them your credit card info. They are an absolute cancer and any porn site that allows ads from these vile scammers are scumbags, looking at you Pornhub. I'm someone whose photos get used for those ads all the time. Asian girls near you, Chinese, Japanese, Korean hot girl wants to duck, etc etc because I used to post a lot of Reddit and I did porn. It's weird seeing my work used and making money for other people in a scammy way. Even if I report the ad to whatever website is hosting it, they don't care. Most of the ads are set up by random companies so you can't even go after them that way. I've kind of just accepted my face is now used for scam ads. I clicked one a long time ago when I was like 16. It asked me questions about am I a male and which girl I want to duck first. I answered them all and it redirected me to some type of medieval community building game. I got really far in that game. If I remembered the really long website name I could probably still log in to this day. Edit, the one that looks like it the most is Forge of Empires. But my memory has faded due to me playing football all my life. P.S. I don't actually do Xanax. I just put it because I made my account out of boredom because Instagram had shut down and I never thought I would actually be on here regularly. I didn't go for one of those games, but did try one of those trials that require you to enter your credit card to get verified. 
I was immediately notified by my bank of suspicious activity and they blocked the transaction and locked my card. I called my bank and had them dispute the charge, but opened my card back up instead of cancelling the old one, who can remember all the passwords to their accounts set up with autopay. A couple days later I had a transaction of over $750 post for an order from Nike. They presumably have built-in keyloggers. They are all scams. Every single one. Edit, I got everything refunded, and I was, indeed, an idiot who deserved it. Why the hell would you do that with your real credit card and not a prepaid gift card with no money on it? I had my suspicions, but let's be honest, I wasn't thinking with my brain. I even thought of using a prepaid visa that I couldn't get in the moment when it really counted but she told me that wouldn't work. Giant red flag, of course. They didn't get anything and I was inconvenienced for my stupidity. I literally could not stop coming. Doctors hated me. I am a doctor. I hated myself. Five out of seven would play again. Edit, no, seriously I can't stop. I've been trying to stop coming, but it just keeps happening. It was fun at first but I'm starting to get worried now, someone please help. Edit 2, please stop sending PMs of your boobs and or Drake and Josh. It's not helping the situation at all. Was watching a show the other day on a streaming website, finished the episode and thought, duck it, let's see what happens if I actually click this porn game ad. Turned on NordVPN, clicked it and it took me to a generic webpage, fantasy background with a sexy superimposed female scantily clad character as you would expect. Are you 18 or over? Yes. Due to laws in your country or area, you may not be able to view explicit content until level 10. Do you wish to continue? Weird but sure, yes. Pick your character, two sexy scantily clad characters now, one on each side with different themes. Left is a half-elf enchantress looking character dressed in the most minimal belly dancing tassel like armor you could think of before it's just straight up porn. Right one was a human warrior dual wielding cool looking swords in the typical stylized bikini armor with accentuating designs here and there. I'll pick the warrior cause she looks cooler. Can you guess where I was redirected to? Raid ducking shadow legends, they got me. Classic. I felt like a hand had come through the screen, formed the OK sign circle game, and then slapped me upside the head for being caught out. I actually got up and went to go get a drink for no other reason than to take a short break to recuperate whatever sanity I had managed to claw back from their omnipresent stranglehold. So, did you come to the one free super rare character, 50k golden clans? Most of them are probably just scams to get your information, and you're left with crappy, unsexy turn-based games, or a rip-off of Bejeweled or some kind of narrative game where you pick the dialogue. I remember when I was a young pubescent horny teenager I paid for an actually decent hentai MMORPG with some uh good physics. I'm a girl and wanted to see what all the fuss about Overwatch characters riding dicks was, so I clicked on one of the ads. There was actually a voice actress reading out the ad, so I was like, cool, maybe this isn't a scam or virus. But turns out you have to make a whole account to play. I just got frustrated and went back to surfing the hub. But here were different game modes I think, and there was also character selection. It looked pretty cool, but I wasn't about to make a whole account just to jack it. I'll give a serious answer. So I didn't click on any of those ads, but I'm not going to lie, I've gone out and have played sex games before. In all honesty a lot of them are just really really stupid single frame dialogue games. The dialogue is most often horrible if not hilarious and the actual sex scenes are like a gif of animated people. Some of them are okay in a deviant sort of way. There was one game I remember playing as a teenager a few times where it was an anime blowjob simulator and you control everything with an orgasm bar to the side. I'm sure you could guess what it does when the bar is full. You pretty much just select a bunch of different options, deep throat, stroke, lick balls, stupid crap like that and the more you combine them the faster the bar goes up. There are other ones where it's a virtual online third-person game like a sexual PlayStation home where you can walk around in a bar or club setting and chat with other people. 
you can hook up and do all sorts of sexual things, but all it pretty much is is dudes playing the dudes, or dudes playing the women. I've never played a sex game that was actually good and I'm kinda surprised there isn't one out there because I'm sure there'd be a demand for it. Like and subscribe for more funny, interesting, and scary r slash ask reddit videos.